Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful wonders works to the children of men. Let's get back. Exodus 14. I want Exodus 14. So this camera run out. Exodus 14, where we leave off, Claire? Where we leave off, Claire? Because we was tripping with Moses and the Egyptians. Uh, uh, let's just dab in here. Mo, uh, Exodus 14, 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not. Stand still and see the salvation. That's what we got to do today. Fear not. Stand still. Right? And see the salvation of the Lord. That's the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, man. Take him into your bosom. Take him into your heart. Take him into your understanding. Take him as your light. Take him as your life. Take him as your mercy. Take him as your truth. Which he will show you today. You got to say, Father, show me your salvation. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's Acts 4, 10 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Salvation of the Lord is in Jesus Christ, man. He was set for the falling and the rising again of the children of Israel. That's resurrection. That's Luke chapter 2, verse 25 to 35. He will show you to you today for the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you shall see them again no more. And the Lord shall fight for you. And you shall hold your peace. The Lord fights our battles, y'all. You just got to get full of this word. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore Christ thou unto me, speak thou unto the children of Israel, that they go forward. Go forward, children of Israel. Go forward. When you finish reading the Bible, start over again from Genesis. Try to go through that Bible two, three times a year. From front to back. Two, three times a year. If you can do it more than that, do it more than that. But lift thou up the rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go, here it is, clear, on dry ground through the midst of the sea. We go over on dry ground, man. We got the right of We got the blood token of Jesus Christ. We got the right of passage to go through on dry ground. That's without their permission, without their policies, without their laws, without their restrictions. We got the Constitution. Like you got the Holy Bible. They square in on it. Oh, let's go in this a little bit, Claire. I got to educate you on this. All presidents swear in to protect the Constitution. All presidents have sworn in to protect the Constitution, which they don't do. But nevertheless, they swear in to protect that Constitution, which is the law of the land, which is, which is the city of Zion, the church of Jesus Christ. That's those who are purchased by the blood. Acts 20, 28. They have the rights of passage. You the constitutional citizen. This is a private constitution. This is a private will for private citizens. You you a private owner. Co-owner. Right? A de-owner with Jesus Christ. Okay? And the heathens and the heathens are subject to you. The president of the United States are subject to us. The House of King David. I said it. The President of the United States is subject to the Constitution of the United States, which is the House of King David. They are subject. Executive orders cannot trump the Constitution. No judge of any state can trump the Constitution. Article 6 of the United States Constitution it is the law of the land founded by the blood of Jesus Christ. Right, the Union won the war. The Union soldiers of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Buffalo soldiers, the blood of the Buffalo soldiers, and Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, purchased it with his own blood. Purchased his people, Acts 20, 28. All nations are subject. They got this thing called red state, blue states, which show you that they still confederate. Because this is the uh, Constitution of the United States of America. Is one, one law of the land, which is the Holy Bible, to seal the deal. 
We are the senators, House of King David. You are the senators. You are the governors. You are the mayors. You are the police. You understand this, Clarence? We are. Oh, we are, we gonna come together. We the firstborn. You understand? We are the firstborn redeemed with, with, with the Lamb. We read that Exodus 13. We went through the matrix. We are the children of the resurrection. We are the children of the Constitution. We are the saints. We carry the name of Jesus Christ, the glory of Jesus Christ, the banner of Jesus Christ. And we don't need no permission because we are non-consenters. We don't need no permission from no heathens. We are sovereign citizens. They don't want us to know this. The Constitution is a sovereign. Sovereign. It means sovereign. It means republic. That's a whole that's the law of Jesus Christ. That's the government of Jesus Christ. Saints, church. You might well accept this in your heart. You might well accept that you are superior people. You might well accept your king is the king of kings. All nations are subject to your king and to you as the body of the king. I know y'all hate me for saying this. I know y'all hate me. I got some lot getting a lot of haters. That's why they hate Jesus Christ. Don't you know that's why they hate him? Because <laughs> they are subject to him. And the flesh is enmity against God. They enmity. They at war with us. Remember, we got the rights of passage. On dry ground, though we going through this on dry ground. We got the scriptures as the as that that the, the Red Sea. The scriptures drown these enemies. Let's get back over there. What we at? Exodus fourteen. Let's finish this. Verse seventeen. And I will behold. I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians. He's hardening their hearts, y'all. They ain't gonna be on our side. He's hardening their hearts. Edomites, all these they Confederates. You see them doing more. They just lynched a brother recently. Y'all see it in the news. They mad. They upset. They burn crosses. The burning of the crosses. Y'all know that. That's 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 showing their hatred for Jesus Christ, your king. And you as his body. Because we're superior. And they shall follow them, and I will get me honor. Do it, Lord. Upon Pharaoh and upon all his hosts, upon his chariots, upon his horsemen, and the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh and upon his chariots, upon his horsemen. Didn't he do it? And the angel of God, which went before the camp of Israel, removed and went behind them. Well, see, we got divine protection. We got the angel of the Lord with us on every side. And the pillar of the cloud went before their face and stood behind them. And it came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. And it was a cloud of darkness to them. But it gave light. We get the light. Ain't that what we started out with? Is in Micah. We get this light. This is heavenly light. We fight from heaven. Not from the flesh. Not from the earth realm. Not from their judges and their court systems. Right? We don't have to vote, right? For Corporation America. No, we we are the elect. You are the electoral college. We are the electoral college. Jesus Christ is our king elect. God had did this. That means this is the hand of God. Something come from the hand of men. We we not know. <laughs> the Levitical priesthood, their inheritance was was the God of Israel. Today is Judah. Judah is in that place of the of Levitical priest. When the Levitical priests were under the law uh, of carnal commandments, Judah is in the uh, presence of God. Judah is the saints. Who's that? Hosea uh, eleven twelve, or is it ten twelve? Let's get it. Hosea. I threw a lot at you in this video, Saints. Hope y'all ain't too mad at a brother. I threw a lot at you. But we got to do cram sessions because time is short, Claire's. Time is short. Uh, time is short. Hosea, let's try 11, 12. Hosea 11, 12. Uh, 
Ephraim compares me about with lies and the house of Israel with deceit. But Judah, that's what tribe Jesus came out of. Right here, Hebrews 7, 14. But Judah yet ruleth. See that? Judah ruleth with God. All right? And is faithful with the saints. Judah is the saints. Okay? Judah ruleth with God. That's the house of King David. Judah. The house of King David. Judah. Right? We rule with God. We go through the veil. We are the inheritor. We are the heirs. We are the heirs. When we go through on dry ground, man, by way of miracle, by way of miracle, y'all understand in this class, from here on out, we going through by way of miracle. The flood's coming. They coming, class. Pharaoh and his host, modern day Pharaoh, the, the, the Edomites, right? And they host, they got armies. We got angels. Who are our armies? We just read it. And exit. Let's go back. This is what's coming, class. Ain't nothing changed, class. It's the book. We got the book, class. <laughs> they they got weapons of warfare that are carnal, class. We got the book. I give you another comfort, class. Uh, what I want, class. Second Chronicles 32. And it's been a while since I've been there, Claire. I know it's Second Chronicles 32. But I forgot the verse. Second Chronicles 32. And uh what I want, Claire. Uh Second Chronicles 32. And uh yeah, we we got this victory, Claire. We got the book. Uh, um, really, it's this whole chapter, Second Chronicles thirty-two. It's that whole chapter, and uh, we got the victory, class. And uh, all is well. Understand that you on Jesus' side, right? You on the right hand side. And you, he's coming back to separate. The, the lambs from the sheep. I mean the goats. That's the goats, right? He's coming back to separate the goats and the sheep. Goats on the left hand. Sheep on the right hand. And uh, what side you want? Right? The Lord is a man of war. We can't be afraid. Remember, we read that. Deliver us from the fear of our enemies. We didn't finish it all in Luke 68. But he came to deliver us from our enemies and from their fear. Remember, Israel cried out. Our people about to cry out, man. They about to see this war coming up, coming against us. And they about to cry out. But the Lord hears the righteous, man. We like uh, uh, Elijah. Prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Right. Lord heard the prayers of Elijah, man. And uh, I forgot what I wanted there, man. And uh, Jehoshaphat, when, when, when you in trouble, we righteous, right? So that's uh, I'll go somewhere else. Class Psalms 34 7. Let's go there. I'll make up for that, class. I couldn't find what I wanted. But I'll make up for that in another video. Psalm 34, 7. Let's go there. Sometimes that's meant to be. The Lord saving it. You know, he don't want me to get it right now. He saved that for another video. The angel of the Lord encamp of around about them that fear him and deliver of them. Oh, that was tight. See, this is what we get, y'all. This, this is our reward. When we cry out, we the righteous. So the angel of the Lord encamp around about them that fear him. That's Those these are the ones in covenant. That's your Psalm 25, 14. Psalm 25, 14. Let's get that real quick. 
Psalm 25, 14. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. See, he will show them his covenant. His covenant is his salvation, which is Jesus Christ, right? His covenant is his salvation, which is Jesus Christ. That's Psalms 91. Let's go get that. Psalms 91, 14. Because he has set his love. We love God. We love Jesus. We love Jesus. When you love Jesus, you love God. When you call on Jesus' name, you're calling on God's name. See? Because he has set his love upon me. This is God talking. Therefore, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he had known my name. We know the name Jesus Christ is exalted. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. It's coming. Jacob's trouble. Yeah, Jacob's trouble. He said, I will be with him in trouble. Jacob's trouble. I will deliver him. Look what we got coming. Deliverance. I will honor him with long life would I satisfy him. And I will show him my salvation. I will show him my salvation. I will show him plainly. We read this. Of the Father. I will show you plainly of the Father. Jesus said. I will show him my salvation. Right? That's a New Testament. That's Luke. Let's get it. Because I brought it up earlier. Chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. I don't know how much time I got. Luke chapter 2. And uh, it really starts with verse 25. 25 if we got time and behold there was a man in Jerusalem that's a city of God the city of the great king was that Matthew 5 35 the city of the great king Jerusalem that's New Jerusalem in Revelations 3 12 whose name was Simeon and the same man was just and devout yeah, that means he was a Jew right for the consolation of Israel and the Holy Ghost was upon him. And it was revealed to him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Now the Lord's Christ is the salvation. Let's pay attention, Claire. And he came by the Spirit into the temple, this Holy Ghost. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus for to do after the custom of the law, Right? Then took he up. It was Jesus that's going to deliver us from this law. Law of sin and death. Jesus. The Christ. The Lord's Christ. Verse 28. Then took he him up in his arms. The man child. And blessed God and said. Look what he said, Claire. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation. The Lord's Christ. Jesus Christ, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light. There's that light, a light. He said that light stayed on in Jerusalem. He said he would give us a light. Michael said, "The Lord shall be light unto me," and that was capital letter, Lord, resurrection. And we read that that in His light shall we see light. Psalm thirty-six nine. The Lord is a fountain of life. He that light washes us and cleanses us and gives enlightens all our darkness. A light to lighten the Gentiles. That's what we are outside the covenant. In the flesh with Gentiles. And the glory of my people is ain't for nobody else. Isaiah 9, 6 to 8. Sent his word to Jacob and enlightened upon Israel, enlightened us. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. And Simeon blessed him and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child, unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Isaiah 9, 6 through 8. The government shall be upon his shoulder. His name shall be called Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of People. This child is set for the fall 
and the rising again of many in Israel. For the Israelite, I am not sent but to the lost, to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Matthew 15, 24. Jesus said this. I am not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And for a sign which shall be spoken against. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that goes on. To turn away the sins of Jacob. This Jesus is the prophecy, the light. To bring us out of hell. To bring us out of darkness. To bring us out of our graves. To bring us out of Egypt. To bring us out of Sodom and Gomorrah. To bring us out the prison house. To bring us out of Adam and Eve. Nature. Fallen nature for the fall. And the rising of many in Israel. That many is the remnant. That many is that they who hear his voice. She said, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. A stranger they will not follow. But flee from him. For they know not the voice of a stranger. We know the, the voice of God in the King James 66 red letter. The book. The volume of the book. Jesus came in the volume of the book. Psalms 46 to 11. The book. <laughs> the book is the, the voice of God, our Father, right? Who said, this is my beloved son, hear ye him, which means God's voice came in the form of a man. We call him Jesus. Come on now. Come on now. We breaking it down. We breaking it down. The book leads you to the kingdom. The book is the light. The book is the kingdom. He had to show you plainly. We read that. Plainly. We got the rite of passage. Let's get back over there to Exodus 14. The rite of passage. But we going through on dry ground. That means by way of miracle. We going through by way of miracle. Where we at? Exodus 14, 26. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thy hand over the sea, that the waters may come again upon the Egyptians, and upon their chariots, and upon their horses. That's the scripture. Stretch forth your hand with these scriptures. Y'all lift up the scriptures. He told Moses, lift up your rod. Your rod, children of Israel, house of King David, is the scriptures. Exalt the scriptures. Lift up your rod of the scriptures. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to his strength. The scriptures is our strength. The scriptures is our sea. When we pass through, we cross over. We're the only ones that can pass through with this, these scriptures. And when the morning appeared, the Egyptians fled against it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. We overthrow them with these scriptures. The, the Red Sea, the scripture, we can pass over, but they can't. Oh, we're going to come back, exit 14. It's too much meat there. It's too much meat there. We ain't doing with that. Psalms 54. I just want to show you something. I'm going show you what the scriptures do. Let's start with verse 1. Psalm 54. Start with verse 1. Save me, O God, by thy name, Jesus Christ. That's, ain't that our salvation? He said, I will show you my salvation. His name. He said, you had loved my name. We read that. Therefore, I will deliver you. I will honor you. With long life, I will satisfy you. When we read that, because you know my name, you set your love upon me. He's talking about the exalted name now. Save me, O God, by thy name. Judge me by thy strength. Resurrection of Jesus Christ. That's why we're baptized in his name. Romans chapter 6. Baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. The scriptures. The scriptures. For strangers are risen up against me. And the oppressors seek after my soul. Look what they That's Pharaoh. This is the devil. This is your enemy. They don't want us to leave the flesh. They don't want us to leave the darkness. They keep trying to bring up your past, all that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? 
we that's been buried under the water. Y'all can understand it. You got to forget those things up behind you, reaching forth under those things that you have before. That's in Christ. He said, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high call of God in Christ Jesus. The devil trying to bring up your past, keep you tied to your past. Cross over to this Red Sea. That's new ground to the sea. That burn resurrection. Come, come. Nobody can live. No uh, flesh and blood can't live underwater. Can't live underwater. You got to what? Resurrect from that. From that ground, from that past. See, your body is dead underwater. Your sins are in the sea of forgetfulness. We got to get back to Micah 7. We ain't going to probably do it in this video. But your sins are in the sea of forgetfulness. That Red Sea, when you were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. Water baptism, crossing over Jordan. You come out as a stone. A living stone. First Peter chapter 2 tells us. Starting with verse 4 through now. You a living stone. And you a holy nation. A royal priesthood. A peculiar people. For strangers are risen up against me. The haters. And oppressors seek after my soul. They can't get you now. Because you got the blood passage. You got the Passover. You got the everlasting blood covenant. You got the rite of passage. They have not set God before them. They don't do this. See, look. Behold, God is my helper. Jesus Christ is your helper. The Lord is with them that uphold my soul. Thank you, mighty great lion. Queen of Israel. We, we uphold each other's soul. The righteous uphold each other's soul. The rest of y'all ain't saying nothing because you ain't righteous. That's why you ain't speaking up. That's why you ain't saying that. That's why you don't give encouraging words on the comment board. You are not righteous. We just read it. He shall reward evil unto my enemies. Cut them off in thy truth. The scriptures is the truth. That's why I say this. The Red Sea that cuts them off. Salvation for the house of King David. I will freely sacrifice unto thee. I will praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. The name is the sacrifice. Every time you call on Jesus Christ exalted, that's the sacrifice. That's the sacrifice, the blood passage. You can pass through on dry ground. That's the password. That's the pin number. Right? This is the sugar for the Kool-Aid. This is the, the, the tree that Moses and them need to cast into the bitter waters that cross and make the water sweet. His name. Praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. It said the saints wait on his name for it is good. And that means he's God. When you see Jesus is good, that's when you see Jesus is good. He said, I show you plainly of the Father. Jesus told us none is good but one. That's God. So when you see that Jesus is that good, every good and perfect gift coming down from the Father above, whom there is no verbal, neither a shadow of turning, James 1.17, Jesus Christ is that good. Can you see him in the Spirit? Can you see him in the Spirit? Let alone the flesh. You got to eat his flesh and drink his blood to see him in the spirit. Uh, you got to eat the sacrifice. We've been reading it. I will freely sacrifice. The sacrifice of righteousness is eating his flesh. Drinking his blood is trusting in his holy name. That's exalted. That's glorified. His name is the praise. I pray. His name is what... Uh, uh, is the fruit that we give unto God. For he had delivered me out of all trouble, and my eye has seen his desire upon my enemies. New covenant. We are the redeemed. Let the redeemed of the Lord say, Jesus Christ is Lord God Almighty. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. 
Oh, they got you have the everlasting covenant. You have the blood passage. Matthew 26. 26. This is this is the the ransom. Matthew 26, 26. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body. And took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament which is shed for many for the remission of sins. This is my body and my blood. It's blessed. Eat it. Take, take, eat it. Eat all of it. This is my blood. Drink it. Drink this cup. Alright? That's becoming one. That's because, yeah, that's spiritual. That's spiritual life. The life of the flesh is in the blood. This is how we cross over uh, on dry ground. This is how we pass through the Red Sea. That's how you pass through the Red Sea, as all our fathers did. That's the meaning of that. Uh, the heathens can't get through these scriptures. I mean, it drowns them. They cut off. They cut off what we want. First Corinthians, uh, first Corinthians, what we want, y'all? 10 and 1. Yeah, let's get that real quick. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud. Remember, he led them by a cloud by day, right? Pillar of fire by night. Right, on the cloud, and all pass through the sea. Right? That, that sea. We pass, We got to pass through the sea, y'all. We're all baptized. Look, got to be baptized in Jesus Christ's name. But don't take his name in vain. Like we about to read, many of our fathers did. And we're all baptized unto Moses. In the cloud. They were baptized. And in the sea. Baptized. That's Romans chapter 6. And all did eat that same spiritual meat. That's the scriptures, y'all. Spiritual meat. And a spiritual drink. And all did drink that same spiritual drink. We just read that. His body. His blood. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. And that rock was Christ. Look, Jesus Christ. Who is the church, y'all. Jesus Christ is the church. Acts 7 37 and 38 tells us that he is the church he is the rock that that uh moses smoked and the water came out that rock we, we reading it right now that rock that followed them and that rock was Christ. That's father and son y'all so he's giving us the answer he said i'm gonna show you plainly of the father you just gotta drink enough of that water water of truth and be washed with the water, water of his word, right? The fountain of life. But with many, here it is, of them God was not well pleased, right? Because they took his name in vain. For they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things were our examples to the intent that we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. We got to die to the lust, which is the flesh. Lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, the pride of life. That's the flesh. That's that's Adam and Eve fell into that. Corruption. Okay. Neither be ye editors as some of them, as it is written, the people sat down to eat and to drink and rose up to play. Now you know that's us. Eat and drink. And rose up to play. Come on. Ain't taking their salvation serious. Ain't going in with the whole heart and the whole soul. Not forgetting 